way we are going to talk not to talk is that I think Kunranjit has already given you in advance the instruction for the access branded SACOs or those who are uh, doing the accreditation for for access. Actually, uh, what we want to discuss with you right now is that uh, we wanted you to identify the risk in your operation. Uh, this is the co the coronavirus is something that we never expected to happen. Uh, uh, we know that on a temporary basis, your credit union will definitely be affected. And the most important thing effect in your credit union is the ability to pay of your members. Uh, because uh, members, you know, in this slide you can see members are getting sick, members are losing jobs, so then their ability to pay will be affected. Uh, maybe they will lose their assets, they will sell, you know, whatever they have in order to have money to to buy for basic needs. And some of them would not be able to access financial services from your credit union because they are doing the over-the-counter transactions from your credit unions and maybe some of the credit unions may not have digital channels. And above all is that members do not have emergency savings. When we say emergency savings, it is it should be the rule of thumb is it's it should be at least six months of the total of the monthly it should be at least six months of the monthly expenses of per family. So if they do not have that, uh, it would be very difficult time for the members. So they will not they have no jobs, they have no income and they do not have savings. So it will be a very difficult and stressful time for the members. So uh, the access SACO should be able to identify who are those members that have been affected by the coronavirus and for the lockdown, because their ability to pay is definitely been affected. And so they cannot pay their loans in time. Uh, yesterday, so, uh, I think we will explain how to identify that because this is the this is the risk that is involved in many credit unions, including the access SACOs. It might be temporary, but we need to have a temporary a, a measure in order for us to mitigate the risk. So all the others. Uh, all the others will be, is, is also all the other things that uh, I've mentioned in this slide are in the document that we prepared. It's called Credit Union Business Solution Number 27. And that is the guide to credit unions on the impacts and responses to uh, COVID-19. That one will be shared to you in the la in later after the meeting and Durga, uh, we have sent it to Durga. Durga will translate that uh, in Nepali. Uh, in short, what we wanted the, all the access SACOs is to have a con business continuity plan. And the business continuity plan is assessing all the impacts of the COVID, which is the impacts are risk and also identifying what are the action steps and the action steps are the mitigation of those risks. So I think I will stop here and I will give the, I will give the chance to Kondranji to continue. Thank you. Uh, very good morning again. I think Bimkul Bim has a screen. Can you shut down your screen? Still, I can see Bimkul is in the screen. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Sahara, 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 Sahara. Okay, okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to everyone, everyone in, in this session. session. This will this be, be our, our communication, communication with all the access brand cooperative CEOs. So we need to understand you have been working very hard during the last three to four years to bring it to your highest standard of the operation. That also build the credibility of the SACOs in Nepal and you have created a special brand name for SACO scan do the business with the highest standard. It's not the operation, it's look like a world-class financial cooperative. Yesterday we had the one batch. Basically we found there are three issues in practically, uh, I will put forward to you. Uh, some of the SACOs have a, a higher liquidity because of the, we were reversing other way around, but as uh, Napscon, uh, other corporate say, the bank has reduced the interest rate and the people are withdrawing the money from the bank and they want to deposit to the SACOs. They said there is a kind of trend in, in the trends. And of course, there are some of the uh, individual borrowers, entrepreneurs, they have uh, money to pay, but difficult to travel, to come to, since you have closed down, it's difficult to collect. That was uh, one of the issues. And third one, they mentioned about the staff of the uh, SACOs are also very much concerned about uh, traveling due to this COVID-19. I think we will talk these three matters later on, what we discussed yesterday, finding. Let's see the major concern about some of the... Let's see the major concern... Major concern is us as to how we could continue access branding our uh, same standard. It's not possible acute to downsizing for the our the ratings for the um, because of the COVID-19. Does it matter what uh, situation? The, our standard is a standard, but we like to see how we should able to reassess our un, uh, unexpected situation. How do you mitigate and how do you assess the risk? I think as long as you're able to assess your risk and see how severe of the data is, ACU is willing to offer the same rank of your uh, status for the access brand another one year without doing physical audit. But there are three, uh, four conditions. Number one, we have circulated the one letter to everyone, it's explaining and include the video. Number one, we have to look at the risk mitigation factor. Due to the COVID-19, many members may lost the job or could not uh, pay back uh, the loan. And then we need to go to individual, not general uh, grace period. We have to look our portfolio individual, who is really affected, how much, when they will able to become a normal, we call ability to pay. Uh, please be free to share. We have sent it the one Excel sheet. How do you can measure that the, they cannot pay in the March, uh, they cannot pay in the April, they cannot pay May or what in the June. So what three months? And that will be the first assessment of the each SACO somebody has to assign for the meeting your members and maybe electronically and maybe communicate and you have to prepare. And then you need to look at once you identify who has really affected, that's the word I get, really affected. They lost the source of income and the daily wage or business they could not pay. And then you can see what would be the portfolio risk. So you know the exactly amount. 
and then you can do certain mathematical calculations it's not going to set off it's not going to write off mathematical calculation with you know more important our institutional capital how what percentage is this, uh, this uh, additional risk what would be the percentage from your institutional capital is a one percent or two percent we can see we are not going to uh, to deduct but we can see how you are strong and then of course you need to have a certain uh, mitigation and negotiation with the um, your members and how the the repayment is starting so this will be a one scenario your portfolio risk analysis part the second one we were originally assuming many members will withdraw their savings because the lack of their cash for the day-to-day -day survival and income and we are assuming the members will come to asking their uh, savings and also they might be asking for the new loan for business continuity since they have not able to start the business and close down maybe business country so you need to look at your uh, how to call the your liquidity assessment for at least the next six months i think these are the additional document we will would like to ask all the sarcos to prepare and then you can upload this time is very important we are not physically uh, going to ask the paper that you have sent the link and that you requested to the all the information what would be the logging process for the uh, our, our access brand page so there is an individual it has to create your corporate your name and many users can be use it to and then you need to upload the data with also one condition quarterly base you need to have a self-regulation updating and all the papers has to be submit or no before around july 31st and you can ask then our federation mr durga is in charge to send the confirmation for uh, access reward and acu staff will be reviewing uh, Mr. Kamon is still in charge. He's still participating in this seminar. Uh, if necessary, you will be able to ask any additional information from him. So if you want to log in, and this, these are the, our basic orientation for the today meeting. But we, since we met in the electronically, we would like to have a close friendship and platform to sharing information. I'm going to open the, the forum and maybe one by one, please do not take much your time. Briefly, we all aware that how severe in the Nepal now COVID-19, we have a general information, general picture. So earlier it was a lower risk, now it's getting the bit higher risk in Nepal because we see the last two weeks, uh, increasing number of patients because of people who are coming from the abroad, they have a sickness and then also some people who uh, pass the Indian border has a certain uh, sickness and then there is a no, some, some, some community has no control. I think these are the scenario in internationally we know, but uh, you might have uh, more information and please uh, share with us and we also circulated the one mail from that uh, acu to the all the ceos acu has prepared a new business solution called how to cope up with the covid 19 uh, guidelines i think it will be circulating all the sarcos also i think we have sent it to the member federation maybe if the, with the uh, permission of the mr durga we can circulate directly our sarcos also if necessary or maybe durga can translate and give it so since already we consume around 22 minutes uh, we don't want to take more than one hour for this webinar meeting and take the microphone anyone want to talk and you mute your microphone and go one by one. Before that, I will ask Durga to translate in briefly 
uh, what we discussed, Madam Lenny and me, and then because some of people may not understand English properly. Mr. Durga, please. Uh, thank you, Ranji, sir. Keshav, here in Nepal, I am going to say, Bujin Chani, I am going to say, 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 हमले प्रोटफोलियो एक मुश्तर रूप में सब वही लाए करने आए ना एफएफटी मानचे को लिस्ट निकालने रा प्रोटफोलियो में पर नसक ने असर को विश्लेषण करने रा निकालने तेजी टा रे एक संस्था को शियोला पढ़ाई सके ऐसे बनवा है त्यो आई सके अपने वाला तब आप सके तेज में पूरो बाय ना नया ऑडिट को केरे ऑडिट को संबंध तब आप वर्चुअल करने को लागी चाहिए तो कंपनी में पढ़ा को तो पेमेंट एवे केरे पेमेंट कैबिलिटी एनालाइसिस करने सीट कैश प्लो कंपनी में समय ना को कैश प्लो करने सीट तो सब भाई कुरो करे रा डाटा से ऑफ को लिंक में आल दिन ऊपर सा वनरा वनवा है अब तो पनी आम व्यक्ति तीस लोग कुरो पाए ना अपलोड करने कु जुलाई एक तीस समय यदि ब्रांड रिन्यू को केस हो अने जुलाई एक तीस समय ये सब सब कीना पर सा वन्ने कुरो सा ऑडिट को ये उटा कुरो हो अब अकेले इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपिटल में पार ने और सारा रुको कुरो आयो अब लगभग आइले समाप्रमा गरे का कुरा आरु इन्हें वन जस्ता लाख अगर ने रंजित साल ने बने जैसे तब आपने क्या ही कुरा आरु शेयरिंग करनो स्किप कुरा करनो स्वानो लाने यो यो चायो बनो परे ना आपने सिचुएशन क्यों बने बाये बने सोलुशन रंजित साले बनवाया तो मौत तबार छात तबार के शेयर से रामरो उनसे दस लाख से तेज वाले उस बार आंसर पाऊंगे बने रंजित साले बार आंसर पाऊंगे बने हम दस जिलों वाला मले तबार लाइन छोड़ी टाइम यस रंजित साले यस यू कैन आस हु लाइक टू यू कैन बोली अमंग योर साल्ट हु वी लाइक टू शेयर एंड can I share one more thing before? Yes, Kulaini. Okay, I just want to share one more thing because I think this is very important. Uh, this might be very helpful for everyone. Can you see my 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 screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Can everybody see the screen? Yeah. Can we make a bigger? Can you expand the bigger? Is that only? Uh, can you see the screen? Can, can, can. Scan the screen. Uh, it's a word file, right? Yes, word file. Okay. I just want to share with you what you need to do. Um, this is a business continuity plan. Uh, this is part of the business continuity plan by understanding what are the risks. Uh, yeah, look at that. Um, uh, this is in the um, this is in the business solutions that we develop. And this is what we want all the credit unions to have. Uh, these are the example. Okay. Uh, what is important here is the identification of the risk. Right now, uh, this is an example. Right now you have a problem on your lending. The, the description of that is that, that's the one area. The description of that is that members who are daily wage earners in non-essential services and business lose their source of income due to the lockdown since March. Even if the lockdown is lifted, it would take time for the members to pick up their business. The probability of that to happen, of that risk to happen is high because if, you're, if you have a lot of members who have a business who has lost their source of income, so it is high for those SAFOs because members would not be able to repay their loans and save during the lockdown 
in at least another three months after the lockdown is lifted. Members' priority is to meet their daily basic needs and their health. Okay, so the impact we, the impact would be, or the risk in the operation is that there will be a significant reduction on loan collection and increase in delinquency. This is the most important thing, is the impact to your finances. You will have a low income due to high delinquency and liquidity risk. You need to identify now who are those members that has their loan has been affected because of the lockdown and three months after the lockdown is lifted. And we need to identify those and we need to also look at the amounts. What is the total amount of loan that has gone bad because the members are affected by the lockdown? This is what we want you to do and this is only one area of risk, is that right? So there are other areas of risk that you need to identify and the business solution that we have shared with Durga will help you go through the process. Okay. All right, I think uh, that's it. Yes, Durga. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Krishna sir, are you Okay. Good morning. How are you? I have a microphone. 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 I uh, okay. Namaste to all. First of all, I would like to thank ECHO to coordinate this platform for sharing our feelings and our activities during this pandemic. Uh, I agree in the points shared by Ms. Lenny and Mr. Ranjit, especially uh, we have to analyze our loan portfolio individually. This is a very important point because we do not have to uh, give a grace period for all loans. This is very, very important thing and I agree uh, with this point because we are not only fighting with the COVID-19, we are also protecting our member as well. We are protecting, protecting uh, also our institution also. We all know in Nepal, there is a lockdown since March 24 and today is the 59th day. And during this period, in the initial phase, most of us assigned the contact persons to deliver the possible service to the members. In the second phase, we started to open our office and provided services in the limited time. In the third phase, we extended our service hours. And now, now what kind of situations we are in is, nowadays in Nepal, the COVID-19 is spreading very fast. So we again uh, limited our services. Many of us, are uh, closing our offices and just uh, asking our members to provide the remote services. Especially we have uh, categorized two types of services. One is office-based services and another is remote services. In, in office-based services, we open office and provide direct service to our members. And in the remote service, we offer the te uh, fintech services to our members. We provide door-to-door -door services to our members. In this way, we are operating our services to our members. Uh, we came to know that ECHO has developed the business solutions, number 27. Uh, I hope it is very, it will be very helpful to cope up with the COVID-19. 
I hope many things are uh, mentioned and explained very well solutions. But it's one queries in my mind. During this the lockdown period, we, we have operated our services uh, in a way that we, 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 we were able to cope up with the situations. But one question is, what, will, uh, what kind of situations can be tomorrow? I mean, after the pandemic, after the lockdowns. So what kind of preparedness we have to make? So I will be very thankful if uh, Mr. Ranjit explained, uh, explained in this uh, matter uh, also. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna sir. Aru koi baldev sir dekhi rathe jast lagsa kya isa baldev sir? Okay, thank you so much, Krishna ji. So you bringing. Uh, let's see. We always uh, update our knowledge. You cannot have a short term uh, Harvard uh, solution for COVID nineteen. You have to live with like uh, earlier we had a malaria, we have a dengue, so now we have a uh, COVID-19. So far only we don't have uh, any vaccination to prevent. But only the issue is when a certain level comes, it's going to be a problem for the lungs and they may not able to do the breathing, they need to have a uh, artificial breathing machines so that is a huge issue many medical facilities we don't have particularly this virus is uh, seriously affecting the age about 55 60 70 because they might have uh, some additional health condition kidney heart disease that will be leveraging their issues so According to the uh, WHO, it will take at least another five to ten years totally eliminate in the world. So it's not going to be a quick solution. So our credit union and financial institution and government people has to learn how to live with this situation. In that sense, we need to build, I think Ms. Lenny has a developed a very good manual from the ACQ, how you can keep the day-to-day -day life in the social distance. That will be the number one. And number two is how you protect yourself, closing your hands and washing and making the mask, not to organize a public gathering not having a social affairs, you have to leave at least another two to three years time. So this will be a day to day of our social life. So next come to the financial situation, people have to start their day to day economic activities. You cannot keep the lockdown in the country forever. I think that Nepal has come to the highest level so that is why every country looking for different solutions. Take example in Thailand country is never locked down, but we also already social gathering stopped and was able to people not allowing to freely move uh, place to place. So there are certain restrictions. So I think Thailand today is uh, only less than 100 uh, 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 the patients are here able to control. Even as Sri Lanka also able to control, uh, not in the community, it's only isolated people, whenever the people who are tracking is a very important intelligent service to tracking the people and they able to cope up. We don't know what exactly the Nepal government strategy how you tracking because in generally one person can spread 500 people per month. These are the general information which we are learning because when we talk about our splitting, it will remaining eight minutes uh, in the either wherever in the table or the whatever you touch, it will remaining in the virus at least eight minutes in the air. So only the after eight minutes in the temperature will kill that virus. 
if not uh, you, the virus is uh, even in your hand it will not affect you it has to go to your mouth these are the condition so it go to mouth from your fingers and the things you are eating so this is our social life when we ask the krishna what would be the economic activity i think you have to find in the local business as early as possible and maybe the credit union should look rather big investment maybe it has to look at the strategy i think our book also how the home based economic activity and the household economic activity and then home garden activity i think that should be the more focus on um, uh, activity then it will able to add some value i think miss lenny will circulated that book today or tomorrow you can see some guideline so i think other than that in currently uh, yesterday very seriously discuss matter because many financial institution are reduced their interest rate for uh, their loan because of the government uh, instruction there was issues asking from the credit union should do or not i think i asked to that national federation to take a leadership but due to our condition we are not able to do unless otherwise you able to negotiate with the members reduce the existing your savings interest uh, because our margin is only to 4 to 5% we are not able to reduce the 3% 2% interest loan but the fairly if you can do that reducing your savings uh, interest uh, do not do not very important do not really give the artificial interest rate for your fixed deposit now the prime rate has gone down you have to focus very clearly you are the model corporate society in the country our theory is uh, higher than only only 0.5 or 1% is a maximum higher than prime rate i think this is a way our all the ceos need to look at how you a product pricing policy if you are currently offering the highest interest so you will have a difficulty to uh, to 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 manage in your liquidity please take very seriously i think mr durga and that uh, mr shivaji need to give their direct guideline to the all the access brand cooperative what would be the prime rate for our savings and loan i think that's only i will stop i think there are many other people would like to talk if there anything we can talk sharing later on please be free to and you can put the any question in the notes and i can able to answer during this time thank you so much back again to the durga please coordinate thank you so much aru kasale ra Can I add to what Mr. Ranjit already explained? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. What is in, uh, in relation to the answer uh, to the question of Krishna? I think this is very is applicable to everyone. First thing first. What you need to do is to prepare business continuity plan because it's not a it's, it's not a strategic plan. A business continuity plan is prepared in times of crisis. So this this will help you to put your mind to put your state of mind to analyze the risk brought about by COVID. Because it's not it's important to have webinar and things like this. But uh, if it is not written down, I am always if it is not written down, you will forget. If it is not written down, you cannot analytically see what are the challenges of your circles. Okay, in the business continuity plan, there are three areas affected. There are three very important aspects affected by the pandemic. Number one is your members. What to do with your members? I already explained. Members are stressed today. members are have no money members cannot move um you know members lost lost the job what to do with the members this is what we need to do with the members which is also uh, uh, sorry explained in the business solution we need to ask the members 
members has no money now. We learned the lesson. We need to have, we need to make it mandatory for the members to have savings equivalent to six months of their family expenses. It's not an overnight job, but it has to be mandatory because this pandemic, as Mr. Ranjit explained, is going to be there for a long time. So whenever members are earning money set aside, build the emergency savings, which is equivalent to six months of family expenses. We need to support members to, to see the opportunity of business. We need to provide business development support to the members so that they will uh, again bounce back from their business. Um, we need to include in our member education uh, how to care for health. Understand? Because members would be resilient if they have high immune system. So we need to teach the members how to take care of their health, which is, should be part of the member education program, if it is not part of the member education program before. Um, we need to help to teach our members digital literacy, because in times of emergency like this, we need to, we, they need to access digital channels. Okay, that is for the members. For the staff, what we need to do, also, we need to, to man, it becomes mandatory for the staff also to build their emergency savings, which is equivalent to six months of their family expenses. We also need to train our staff on to become digitally, fine, digitally literate. We also need to ensure that our staff are not losing the job. We need to have flexibility to our staff we need to develop a policy on working from home. The working from home policy should be a mandatory now for all the SACOs, okay? So we also need to have many policies on remote, you know, board of directors meeting and things like that. Uh, for the staff, uh, we need to have, we need to utilize right now, you need to utilize the time of your staff to reach out to the members through Viber, through phone, and through social media because our members need the counseling from our credit union staff. If you are not working in the office, your staff should not stop working at home, connecting to your members using social media or even, you know, a blast message using your uh, Facebook. We need to demonstrate to the members that we are caring them and we need to utilize our staff doing that. For the institution, we need to stop lending on emergency. I mean, no need emergency loans and things like that because it will only aggravate the situation. But we will lend to our members for business and we will ensure that our credit unions, it, our SACOs is um, uh, integrating a business development support to create more opportunities for members to see opportunity on making business. And whatever, what else? Okay, I think we have mentioned already uh, analysis of the loan portfolio so that we need to be able to quantify the risk that we want to mitigate. But what is important is that you need to have business continuity plan. The business continuity plan will help you to focus. Because if you do not have that, you know, you just tackle the situation piece by piece. But if you have a business continuity plan, you are most focused. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kunlani. There is a question posed by Ms. Prem Wagli, correct? He's asking if the loan has not paid at last 12 months is a missing. So it's a very good question to everyone. So it's not a matter of the COVID-19. So it's a different issue. So COVID-19 is a very 
critical that in the member who has paid continuously last December, January, February has paid, but he cannot pay loan in March, April, May. We can see very clearly. So these are the ability to pay all the good members who have ability to pay. But if the member has not paid the last 12 months or missing, it's a different issue. You have to make a provision 12%, a 100% provision, you have to make it. You have to go for uh, operational uh, standards. So what we are looking due to COVID-19, because of the economic status, they really affected their business and their day-to-day -day life. I think we need, should not get a misunderstanding. If the member has not paid in the previously, you can look at their repayment plan, the repayment uh, uh, card. If the member has paid the good standing members, those who are whole good standing member who could not pay the loan due to this COVID-19 is very clear. I think we should not uh, look in the, uh, your general loan portfolio management and COVID-19 loan portfolio management. That is why we create a very clearly uh, column, those who are good member who has paid regularly, but due to this uh, COVID-19, they could not pay. We have to very clearly identify. And you can make an assessment because of they lost totally job, they have lost totally their business. Okay, now you are making assessment when possible to they have to start. That is your own judgment to make a whether low risk or high risk or medium risk. And you can assume the full page they will come. And then you have to look at a renegotiation with them. Okay, when they're going to pay back that loan. So still COVID-19 is not controlled in Nepal. It will might be my assumption continue at least another three months depends on how take example in India. India is spreading. We don't know how it may go, go to millions in the yeah. Indian continent continents because it's a very difficult to people to put the discipline. It's a matter of the discipline of the people. If the people put the discipline by themselves, it can control. Government cannot control unless people put their own discipline. I think very key issues. So with back again, I give to the microphone to Durga Ji. Please take that and if necessary, translate. Uh, okay, sir. I'm, listen, I'm listening. Ranjit sir, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Ranjit sir, one thing in the column uh, at the far back, uh, what we need to put amount of the loan or yes or no, only re uh, remarks, yes or no. Your, my, your microphone is muted. Yes, yeah, later on you can see whether is really affected how much the total that amount they lost. Okay, this is the three installment, okay, amount, three or four installment amount. So you can see that is exactly the people and amount you can see very clearly. Okay, sir. Just the just Prem Wagle also want to be clear about that matter. Okay, okay. Why he asked the question about 12 month missing? That's a different matter, okay? Yeah. It's clear. Uh, okay. Chatma? Yes, about member education in pandemic, Mr. Baldev Powdell is asking on chat, Ranji sir. Anyone can put? Samay saal kadi kya rakhna sab nuncha kaise rakhna nuncha aur na tera banana amle fairy banana banana nuncha. Punajit. Honestly, I do not understand the question because we need to keep the social distance. Why particularly this time member education? What does that meaning? He talk member education. I think we need to look at a different way because we cannot gather. We never able to ask to people to gathering people conducting training but if you mm -hmm. can create a, a nap school even a kind of a video 
about yeah. why the savings is important, how you increase the household economy, what kind of the household farming, so you can create a kind of uh, uh, um, virtual uh, training. Yes. So what yes. we are doing in the webinar, you can do in your own uh, members network because if you have a data in your Facebook, if you have a, a kind of your home page, you can create a very important of the saving. Miss Lenny bring it the very key issues now. Uh, even actually, I am preparing already a one one webinar. This is a very good time for you to measure. Your mission is a drift or mission is a driven. If the credit union is a mission driven, our member will not get panic. Member will not run to the credit union. Uh, we don't have a job. We don't have a money because they have their own safety loan by themselves, the financial literacy. So they can have a, not a panic situation. They can leave at least the next two to three months. So without any difficulty, of course difficult, but not severe depending on the government. I don't know how the Nepal government has given to the subsidy. Uh, most of the Asian country has given a subsidy. Either they lost the job, uh, they lost their business. There are certain subsidies given to the around the uh, world, but I don't know how the Nepal. Is there any subsidy from the government? People who lost the job and closed down the business, how much they're going to give the family? No, sir. Huh? No. No any single money? Only is a relief matter like uh, rice, dal, like that matter. No. Oh, because other Asian country, uh, almost every country, they, they lost the job. Uh, even if they lost their business, if you have a kind of self-employment, so even a Thailand case, uh, every uh, people get the 5,000, those who lost that kind of uh, business and uh, uh, business and uh, um, the job. Uh, even the Philippines also, Sri Lanka also, that is why the whole country is to keep the curfew and the government distribute uh, in addition to certain uh, welfare and relief, yeah. Government give the certain uh, financial assistance also, but I'm surprising is there's no any sub subsidy from the Nepal government. Wow, very very difficult the people. Yeah, very difficult. So our credit union also provides some local level assistance to member at this period. It's a social responsibility. They are involving. Thank you. Doctor Ji, yes, yes it, is, it is good that the credit union is providing relief but that's not their function um you know that's not sustainable people yeah. Yeah. people should be able to help themselves that yeah. is our you know that is what we are emphasizing now so we we do not even even in our business solution we did not even we did not even uh, recommend Credit union should uh, give relief opera operation during this time of crisis because everyone should be able to help themselves in that time of crisis by making sure they have prepared it in advance. Yeah, yeah. we already agreed, ma'am, at that point. Uh, that is our mission also, <laughs> helping the uh, helping people help themselves. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so that is, I think the the way forward for our circles. So we need to be to strengthen that principle into action. Uh, Ranji sir, yesterday we talked about the next meeting also. Uh, can we share that matter on this forum also? Can we share? Hello? Hello? Then, ma'am, mic is muted. <laughs> microphone is mute. Kunanjit, your microphone is mute. With me on it. Uh, there's a question on how to collect the money these days. I think more important, you need to have a limited working hours permission, uh, uh, permission from the, your local authority and government telling that your financial institution is an important part and very urgent for to service the provided, uh, services to people. Uh, like uh, essential other commodity shops, a similar way. 
and then you need to get a first uh, uh, negotiation with the local authority to operate limited hours and definitely it has to be communicated to your members anyway member need to educate if you have a money do not delay we can pay kindly let us know send it to our text message your repayment is ready and then you can go to the, your field people and go and collect the money is a very important because that's the time you need to i'm sure everyone most of the 90 percent people has a mobile phone i'm sure you have a data in your system can communicate update if you have a your repayment is ready let us know we will come and collect that money i think that's kind of communication you have to uh, launch within your network so then members will the text message and you are going and collect the money i'm sure it's quite expensive way but you have to coordinate certain area to go not to go to 10 kilometers to bring the one loan installment so you have to coordinate who will be in charge of that area and to collecting i think uh, that's way i don't know it's still nepal is a curfew or lockdown or what is the nepal situation right now children this sir lockdown is being very hard than previous just we are in the top phase of pandemic top level at community we are seeing uh, seeing people at community level now it is hard to tracing also already you mentioned many people come from abroad and stay at their home yeah it is hard to trace. that is what exactly because it is a government when the people coming from the abroad they should not allow to go home they should have to quarantine at least 21 days uh, outside before go home now that is why yesterday there are uh, 17 but definitely today going to be a more than 30 so you are going to increase day by day because uh, mm -hmm. the other asian countries are controlling nepal is uh, picking up earlier two months ago you hardly you could not get any covid 19 people but now mm -hmm. increasing so it's, it's spread to the community allowing that if the one person is at this sickness person doesn't know he is carrying virus no yeah. any symptom yeah. even after 10 days 20 days maybe not a symptom and we didn't go die he died itself but yeah. during that period he can spread it to his family members yeah that is what a very serious matter he say oh i am very good i don't have any virus he go to home but yeah. he his virus killed by himself but he can spread to the other family members i think this is the education the very important anyone coming from the abroad should not go to their home it's not a my job it's a government should enforce that kind of regulation if not you cannot control your country yes sir aru kura kei cha bhane rakhau natra bhane aba hami chalphal ra kaam garne kura ta yaha gari rakhi halcha solution chhadai cha kasai le kei rakhnu huncha ke bhanchha if not, not so we think that the next hour uh, webinar at least every month or every quarterly i think quarterly is much more better we focus uh, maybe necessary if it is a nepal is getting severe we will have a one meeting for the next month also month of june uh, maybe uh, regularly we like to have a since next two to three years acute staff cannot travel to the, any other countries that is the guarantee because uh, every country has a restriction one unless we get it the vaccination so we may not able to travel i think it will be a webinar will be the next hour two to three years until we meet uh, to communicate maybe you can create a one of the subject matter maybe we'll uh, allocate a more time more technical uh, this is not like a very general, we'll, we'll focus on some area and maybe technical matter we can deal uh, next our webinar. Randy, so sir, everyone need to have a discipline, uh, switch off your microphone, not allow to uh, uh, use your screen to show to other people and only we will control uh, whenever allowed to speak. Okay, that's the time you can use your screen and you can open your microphone. 
Yes, Randi sir, I think uh, this is very critical period. After one month, if we, uh, our member SACOS also prepare the report according to our Excel sheet and prepare the business continuity plan also. Uh, after the, the after finding, uh, we can stay for one day. That is fruitful for us also because sure. the, the we can uh, we can fix it because we need to understand accuracy. Uh, actually, right now we are involving every week. We are issuing the new webinar. Now, mm -hmm. actually, tomorrow we are going to have a, uh, another meeting with the other country also in the Philippines. And the next week we are going to have a meeting with that uh, Indonesia. And Aki is going to have a DE. We will. Uh, we are starting for webinar and support a member directly. Uh, in Moling, we actively we fix the date and let us know convenient to your uh, date, uh, end of the month or end of the day, and maybe Friday, maybe regular time. So based on your day-to-day -day agenda, so we will able to to fix it the day, no problem. Starting from your time, so around maybe four hours to five hours. Yes, it's possible. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. So with that, so Kunleni, you want to say closing remarks? So I will hand over to Kunleni to say to so thank you to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think I do not have any more. Just uh, wish them all, wish them all uh, safety and uh, be patient. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing you again. Um, by the way, uh, Durga Ji, uh, I hope that you get the business solution number 27. And, yes, okay, so if, I, I'm sure that you are translating that document so you can send to them. So and if we, you allow, you can go to the English document to, uh, for them also. Yeah, you we can. have already provided them, so we have already shared, uh, I think, yesterday. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, but uh, we want you to give us feedback uh, so that we can improve. It's not perfect. It's not 100% uh, complete. So we wanted to improve that document so that it would be useful. Thank you so much. To all, namaste, deri, deri, donabat. Yeah, namaste. Okay, so goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye.